Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna do just a random object teardown here, uh, just to see if I can salvage anything interesting from this. This is a timer uh, of my dryer machine. Uh, what happened is that uh, it is a 127 dryer, 127 volts dryer machine, uh, but we accidentally plug it into a 220 volts uh, outlet. Uh, here in Brazil, the secondary power transformers or distribution transformers are all a star connection. We have neutral to phase as 127 volts and phase to, to phase 220 volts. So it's coming for areas like laundry areas and houses to have 220 volts outlets for uh, for things that draw mo more power. They are typically powered out, out of the 220 volts uh, outlets just to reduce current intake. So yeah, this one was accidentally plugged into the wrong outlet and I think the motor went because what happened with the timer is that I would set the time and then it would just stay there, would not move backwards counting the time down. So yeah, I reckon that this motor here is gone. So I'll tear it down just to see what's inside and if there's anything worth savaging. Uh, I'm going to remove these rivets here uh, and then we're going to take from there. Okay, so I removed the rivets here um, for the Dremel. This front plate just comes off showing part of a mechanism. Uh, but this thing is like a sandwich. Uh, I understand it can be, I mean, it. this particular time for the particular dry machine I have is, you know, this configuration. But you can sandwich more stuff and, to, and add more uh outputs here let's say to time different things i think you can use that uh for different purposes for different machines so it's like you can custom build what you want by adding more layers to the sandwich here if i make sense so yeah that's what i think it does uh, if i take it a little bit further apart this is all just mechanical things right yeah oh here there's just a little stop for the for this mechanism here to make the clack 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 um, okay, nothing too interesting in here. Um, uh, let me just cut this, uh, wire. Where's my cut? I don't have my side cutter here with me. I'll do it with this one here. Okay. Let me take that one off as well. Right, so if I take this further apart, this is basically all mechanical right now, nothing electrical. Uh, well, here's the contacts. Okay, I should have studied this a little bit further <laughs> before disassembling just to see what the contacts would do. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, mechanical, mechanical stuff, cool. Ah, yeah, this is really not too exciting i mean <laughs> just a mechanical thing that uh i wonder how the motor is controlled because as far as i remember from the uh wiring diagram or actually for, from when i switched uh this defective timer by the one that is in the dryer right now i think this was direct tied to the power um uh, to the uh mains power so there is there wasn't any electronic circuit controlling when the motor should move so the timing is entirely done in here i guess so is there any electronics in here somewhere not so far a little springy thing i always like springs a little this this gear sometimes you know it's good to have some around just in case you have to mock something up but yeah Okay, let me remove this other metal plate here. This should all just come off, I think. Let me get a... Ah, oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, the, there's a little stop here for the motor so i think i have to 
maybe just straighten those things a little bit. Let me get my big uh, pyre. Mm. Okay, one more here. Now this should play ball, I think. Try again. Oh well, the motor the motor just just come off already, and I think this plate should come off now with some force, just to undo that those things here. Okay, well, yeah, just a bunch of gears. <laughs> Not exciting at all. I think I'll just save all those gears just because so. <laughs> just just to hoard a little bit. Uh, but yeah. And just to make sure there's nothing else in here in the motor enclosure. No, that's just the motor. Yeah, I mean, I'm puzzled now how it works because it... As far as I know, yeah, as I said before, there was no electronic circuit driving this. This was directly plugged in the mains. And the motor wasn't spinning all the time. So I don't know exactly how this worked uh, to count the time, but well, it did a trick. So, all right. I think I could try and power this motor, but I'm not, I don't think that it's going to work. So. I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll give it a shot. If it does anything interesting, I'll show in camera. Otherwise, I'll just say goodbye. Okay, just to confirm. So, here I'm plugging the motor with 127 volts AC. Uh, as you can see here, if I can get it all in the same shot. Twenty-seven volts AC, and motor's not doing anything. So yeah, it's dead. Okay, so just out of curiosity, I did some further destruction of the thing just to dismantle the disassembly the motor, and I don't know if it shows on camera, but yeah, you can see where the motor has gone bad. There are some blackened uh, copper uh, wires in there where I think the isolation is gone and then you know the it's probably it's not shorted inside because uh you know when i plugged it in i it wouldn't heat up or anything it's uh, probably a uh, broken wire somewhere in this blackened areas if it ever focused but and i don't i don't know if it's possible to see on camera but yeah there are some nasty things in there so yeah <laughs> easy to understand why it's gone